Hello and welcome to Smartspot Reviews channel. Here we are again, but before we start, please check if your right finger is functioning well and hit the left button on your mouse or on your screen and hit the subscribe button below to help us keep going. So what we are having for you today. Here it is. It arrived at a speed of light only one year after it was released and uh, reviewed all around YouTube channels. Here it is in our local market. We maybe have beaten some of the third, third uh, world countries and got it before them, but only a year have pa passed. Okay, so this is one interesting product and uh, we will be reviewing it for you in next several minutes, so please stay with us. So, as you can see in front of me, we have a neat little box which is designed by Peak Design and what is inside is also designed by Peak Design, of course. The box is pretty nice, we haven't seen uh, this kind of box used for any of the tripods. So let's see what's inside. Inside is a little bag where the tripod is. The bag is very well made uh, of high quality materials like all their bags, water repellent and everything. And is, it is very tightly secured for the tripod. The tripod looks like this. Now stay with us next several minutes and we will see in detail what it does and how it looks. So let's start with the upper part of this tripod. Uh, here we have an uh, Arca Swiss type quick release plate uh, which you can uh, secure by this wheel. You have marked here unlocked uh, and locked. You go to unlock so you can release it and remove it. And the good thing is that you can remove these two screws and uh, attach any kind of equipment you already own uh, with Arca Swiss uh, type of quick release plate. Uh, we will show you how it's done. You have some kind of tool here. These are two Allen keys. You use the small one to unscrew these screws like this and when you are done you can slide all of your quick release plates and your equipment with Arca Swiss quick release plates in here and lock it. Then we go with the central column. There's a wheel here for releasing it and it goes up like this and you have this uh, ball head on the top which is integrated. If you want to tighten it you use this wheel here. Now it's tightened. tightened. Now it is released and you can go in portrait mode, portrait orientation in both directions, which is a really nice feature. Okay. Then we go down a bit the center column. On this hook, which is for extra load when you want to secure tripod more for some really long exposures, you have a little surprise. You move it down, then to the left and you can release this little adapter which is meant for holding your smartphone if you want to record something with your smartphone. 
you can attach it here like this and you can attach your smartphone it's great option because a lot of lots of people are using their smartphones now for YouTube videos or private videos or something and it's a great little feature that will be very useful so that's about some main features and original features that this little tripod has now uh, when you want to achieve the lowest position of the tripod you have to do some extra work as it is usual you use Again, this little handy tool provided here in this little compartment. You ro rotate the ball head in portrait rotation and find the opening in the ball here up on the top and you use the bigger Allen key and unscrew this screw and after several rotations you'll be able to remove the top part of the column with the head attached and you can then put it here on the upper part or reverse it down so you can achieve the lowest position of about three centimeters which is about uh, one and a half inch or a bit less than that that's how you do it and let me show you about the legs you release them like this it's very easy very convenient very handy to do and very quick as you can see you can release all sections with just one move which is excellent okay now uh, let me show you how you can adjust the angles of uh, the tripod legs you have uh, two options this is normal angle and you have that wide angle for macro photography or where you want to go very low for shooting some land landscapes or something but of course don't forget to shorten this central column as we showed you before okay then we will show you how uh, the tripod looks when it's fully extended as you can see you can release all the sections of just by one move with three fingers like this so you can release the sections very quickly and achieve the highest posi positions very fast like this okay and then you extend the central column like this and this is the highest position of the tripod I am about 190 centimeters you can check in feet in feet how much is it and this is exactly what I need when I attach my camera here and lens for some comfortable use in every situation so this is how it looks like when it's fully extended okay as usual we are going to do stability test for this tripod and uh, along with that we are going to show you how you can attach Arca Swiss compatible lens to the head so you slide it like this okay let me see yeah and then you lock it like this and it is securely in place now we are going to do stability test we are zoomed to 200 millimeters and 100 percent on the screen now you can see that the picture is still and then we're gonna shake lens a bit and count in seconds how much it takes for the image completely to stabilize one two three four five six seven something between six and seven seconds which is excellent results results that i think we haven't seen from any other tripod until this one
So what about our final conclusion about this fancy tripod here? It has a lot of great features, first of all design, carbon fiber legs, ball head with Arca Swiss plate. You saw everything that is good about this tripod. So which are the bad things or downsides of this tripod? Well, if we have to be really picky then uh, maybe we would like to have integrated option of change, changing the ball head if needed. You have to buy uh, optional plate to attach another head. Then we would like to see something else than using these Allen keys for some adjustments of the tripod. As you saw, maybe it can all be done by hand in some future models, of course. And maybe the biggest downside is the price, which is for carbon fiber model about 600 United States dollars. But you have aluminum or aluminum option, which is our best recommendation. And it's uh, almost half of the price of this carbon fiber model. So you check it out if that suits you better. Shortly, we can really recommend this tripod for its features. And we are really eager to see next tripods from Peak Design Company. We assume that they will be excellent. So that's it for now. Thank you very much for being with us and until next time, bye-bye.